Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove extra or unwanted languages from your keyboard layout on the taskbar in Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all the commands in this video are going to be based on a United States keyboard. So if you're trying to set up a UK keyboard format or some other regional keyboard layout, you're welcome to. You might have to change it from the US. You'll have to find out what your country code is, but I'm just going based on US. That is the largest viewership um, on the channel, so we're going to just go with that. And let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in PowerShell. Best result should come back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now I'm going to have three commands in the description of my video, so just copy each one one at a time, and then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. This is going to show you a language of just what you have on your system here, and then we're going to just again copy the second command, paste it in, and then finally, last one, just paste that one in here too, and then type the letter Y on your keyboard, hit enter. And that is it. Nothing else to it. It should be pretty straightforward. And if you want to install additional language packs, you can. If you went into the settings window and then went underneath time and language, and then you selected language, you would have the ability to add additional languages in here too. But I'm not trying to make this video too complicated. You, you guys are smart. You can figure that out. But just generally, this is how you would create one language, and we're just trying to keep it very simple for today's tutorial. So pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.